Hello everyone, my name is Ansar Ahmed. I work with BMC Discovery support team. I'm specialized in BMC Discovery, Helix Discovery, and integration between BMC Discovery and other products. In this webinar, Dilraj and I are going to talk about Microsoft Azure Cloud Discovery Essentials. Let's start with the agenda for today. We'll start with the introduction to BMC Discovery and high-level overview of how the cloud discovery works. We will then see comparison between the key terminologies used in Microsoft Azure Cloud and the AWS Cloud. We will then talk about the prerequisites to perform Azure Cloud Discovery and how to set up a Microsoft Azure account or user account on the Azure portal. Later, we will see how to create Microsoft Azure credentials in the BMC Discovery appliance. We will then take you to the demo on how to discover Microsoft Azure Cloud resources, multiple Azure subscriptions, the discovery of Microsoft Azure host or servers, and Microsoft Azure tags. And at the end, we will go through troubleshooting of some of the common issues reported during Microsoft Azure Cloud Discovery. Let's begin with the introduction to BMC Discovery. BMC Discovery is an agentless discovery solution that is used to discover the data center, cloud assets, configuration, and the relationship data. It can be integrated with the CMDBs such as BMC CMDB, ServiceNow CMDB, and Remedy4 CMDB. Before we go ahead and discuss Azure Cloud Discovery in detail, let's have a quick overview on how the cloud discovery works. Let's say in your environment, you are having Microsoft Azure and AWS Cloud to deploy virtual machines, cloud softwares, storage, and other resources. To discover them, you would need to deploy the BMC Discovery or the Outpost. Configure a credential or access key that Discovery or the Outpost can use to connect to the cloud provider APIs. Discovery will then run predefined API calls to collect the data of cloud resources or services. Discovery will collect this data as the directly discovered data. Discovery will then infer this data in the following order. At the top level, Discovery will create a cloud provider node corresponding to the respective cloud that you are discovering. Let's say if you are discovering Microsoft Azure, then a cloud provider node as Microsoft Azure provider will be discovered. Within each cloud provider, Discovery will model cloud regions. And within each cloud region, Discovery will create cloud services. Now that we have understood the basics of how the cloud discovery works, and also we have delivered a webinar related to AWS Cloud Discovery Essentials recently. So before we talk about Microsoft Azure Cloud Discovery in detail, Let's do a quick comparison between the key terminologies used in AWS and Microsoft Azure Cloud that has similar functionalities. Let's start with AWS. During our last webinar, we saw that to deploy virtual servers, we use the AWS EC2 instance service. If we go to Azure Cloud, to deploy virtual servers, we can use Azure Virtual Machine Service. Whenever we need to deploy multiple organization units, we can use AWS accounts and in terms of Azure, similar activity can be done using Azure subscriptions. To deploy discovery prerequisites, we can use AWS cloud formation templates and in Azure, similar functionality can be used with resource manager. For AWS EC2 host, AWS provides an option that is AWS system session manager, which discovery can use to perform the deep discovery of EC2 host using the cloud credentials itself. Unfortunately, no such feature or service is available in Microsoft Azure. So for Microsoft Azure host discovery, we still need to follow the traditional approach which Dilraj is going to discuss later in this webinar. As we are discussing about the Microsoft Azure cloud discovery, let's start with the prerequisites for discovering this cloud platform. For performing cloud discovery, the very first prerequisite is that you have purchased the required cloud licenses. Please note that all the discovery appliances are shipped with cloud discovery features. This feature 
can be enabled from discovery interface. But before enabling this feature, make sure that you have purchased the cloud licenses. If you are not sure, you can contact your BMC account manager for confirmation. From one of the previous slides, we discussed that to perform cloud discovery, BMC discovery needs to connect to the cloud API endpoints. For Microsoft Azure discovery, we need to make sure that discovery appliance or the outpost has the access to all the required Azure API endpoints. The access can be configured by giving direct internet access from the appliance or the outpost or you can use the HTTP or web-based proxy. As Azure uses timestamp based authentication, we need to make sure that BMC Discovery Appliance time sync is configured using NTP. In a couple of minutes, we will show a demo on how to enable cloud discovery from the discovery UI, what are the Azure API endpoints that should be accessible from the discovery plans or the outpost and how to configure time sync using NTP. But before we move on to the demo, let's first discuss about the credentials that we need to connect to the Azure API provider. For Microsoft Azure Cloud Discovery, let's see access type and permissions needed to configure on this user. The required access type can be CLI. Management console access is not required. Regarding the permissions, read-only permission should be enough. To discover size and encryption values for VHDs used by VMs, you need to provide the additional permissions. Now let's see how to configure required prerequisites on the UI, how we can create the user on the Azure portal, configure the credentials on the discovery appliance and perform the initial credential test. I have logged into the discovery appliance user interface and the Microsoft Azure portal. Let's begin with enabling of cloud discovery on discovery user interface. To enable cloud discovery, click on administration and under appliance section, click on licensing. As you can see, the cloud discovery is disabled. Let's click on the enable button. You will see a pop-up like this, which says that BMC cloud discovery is a separately licensed product. We already discussed about this earlier. So I will go ahead and click on enable button. Cloud discovery is now enabled. Now let's have a look at the Azure API endpoints that needs to be accessible from the discovery appliance for the Azure cloud discovery to work. So we will go back to the administration and click on cloud and API providers. As we can see, this is the list of the cloud providers that are supported by discovery. Let's click on Microsoft Azure. On this page, you can see a list of supported regions and services. Let's expand the regions. These are the supported regions. Let's minimize it and see the list of services. For example, if we see the virtual service, it will show a list of 23 requests. That is the 23 API request will be called from discovery to the Azure API provider to get the virtual machine details. Now let's go back to the administration page and perform the time sync configuration or enabling of NTP. Let's click on time sync. And as you can see, NTP is disabled. Let's click on enable and click apply. NTP is now enabled. Now let's jump to the Microsoft Azure portal to set up the user that we will use to discover the Azure cloud. On this portal, click on Azure Active Directory. On the left hand side, click on App Registrations. Under App Registration page, click on New Registration and give the user a name. We can keep the other settings as it is. Let's click on Register. Now the user has been registered. In addition to this, we also need an application key from this particular user. To do that, we need to create the application key. For doing that, we need to click on here. I will open it in a different tab. On this page, click on new client secret. Give it a need. I will give application key. Let's add it. Now the application key has been created. Now let's jump back to discovery and configure the Azure credentials. Let's click on add and Microsoft Azure. Let's give it a label. 
as you can see we need three details that is directory id application id and application key as we already saw we have already created these details so let's go back to the azure portal and copy these details let's start with directory id and then we can take the details of application id and at the end we can take the details of the application key that we have created so we have to copy the value of this application key let's go back to discovery and give application key please note that if the discovery appliance does not have the direct internet access then you can make use of this proxy now let's click on apply and perform the credential test let's click on test and see the results here we can see the credential test has failed let's click on the failure and see the results here we can see the credential test has failed with failed to get dynamic parameter subscription id no values this is because we haven't assigned the role for this particular user so let's jump back to the azure portal and provide this user the role that is the reader role to do this let's go to home click on subscriptions click on one of the subscriptions that we have already created and under subscription click on access control click on add add role assignments and on this page select the reader role and click on next under this page click on select members here we will add the user that we have created the user is bmc underscore discovery let's select it let's click on review plus assign and let's click again as we can see the role assignment has been done now let's jump back to discovery and perform the credential test again let's click on retry you can see now the credential has succeeded for the next part of the webinar i will hand over to dilraj thank you ansar hello everyone my name is dilraj and i work with bmc discovery support team in this webinar i will start with a demo to show how to discover resources from azure cloud and go through the discovered data i have logged in my discovery ui as well as azure portal as the cloud is enabled in discovery and credential is already created by ansar so i will use the same credential to scan the azure cloud before performing the scan let's go through resources currently present in azure portal for first time scanning i have created one subscription here you can see the one subscription created and i have created two virtual machine also i have two load balancer now let's scan the azure cloud to start the azure cloud scan go to manage and click on discovery add new run give a name to this scan i am going to scan now so i will select this snapshot in target section select cloud select the cloud provider microsoft azure now we have to select the created azure credential here please note that for the azure cloud scan we can only select one credential at a time for region selection i am selecting azure public for this webinar click on okay scan is running now let's wait for it to complete as we can see the scan is completed now go to the recent run open our scan to see the discover details from the discovery summary we can see there are two virtual machines discovered two load balancer service and two storage volume is getting discovered this storage volumes are used by these two virtual machines note that we have only one discovery access here which means for each subscription there is a one discovery access is created in discovery in this demo we have seen how to discover the resources from one subscription now we will move to next demo where we will see the scanning of multiple subscriptions for scanning multiple subscriptions 
we can use the same credential we have created in discovery. There is no separate credential is required for each subscription. So in this demo, I'm going to use the same credential we have to scan all the subscriptions. Before we run the scan, let's review all the subscriptions we have in Azure. In Azure portal, click on subscription. Here you can see three subscriptions which I have created for this demo. Also, I have created few VMs, few load balancer and services on different subscription. Now we will scan the Azure Cloud. To scan, go to the discovery UI, add new one. Let's give it a name Azure Scan Multiple Subscription. And we will select the snapshot. Let's select the targeting as cloud. We will select the cloud provider as Microsoft Azure. Here we will select the same credential we have created earlier. The reason is Azure Public. Click on OK. As we can see, the scan is running. Let's wait for it to complete. As we can see, the scan is completed. Now let's go to the recent run and open our scan to see the discovery details. From the discovery summary, we can see there are only one discovery access got created with two virtual machine, two load balances service have been discovered in discovery. From this discovery summary, we can conclude that the resources which are available in our initial subscriptions are only getting discovered. Discovery does not initiate the scanning of other subscription. This is because the created application permission is not assigned to the other subscriptions. So to scan the other subscription, we have to assign the application permissions to each subscription. To assign the application role to subscription, go to the Azure portal. Click on subscriptions. Here we have already assigned our application to initial subscription. So we will assign the application to remaining subscription. To do so, click on subscription name, access control IM. Here we have option to add the assigned role. Click on add, add role assignment. In role section, select the reader. Click on next. Here we need to select the member. So click select member. Now we have to search our application which we have created for this demo. Select the application and click on select. Here we can see the created application has been selected successfully. Now click on next. Click on review. Now we can see that the role assignment is successfully added on this particular subscription. Similarly, we have to follow the same step to assign this application on remaining subscription. So go back to the subscriptions, click on test subscription, access control IM, click on add, add role assignment. We have to select this reader role, click on next. And again, we have to select the member. We need to select the same application which we have selected in other subscriptions. Click on select. Now you can see that application is successfully selected here. Click on review to assign it. Now we have assigned that application in all our subscription. We will go to the discovery and rescan the Azure Cloud. Now let's go to the discovery and rescan that Azure Cloud. Click on manage, add new role. Let's give a name to this scan and select the provider as Microsoft Azure. Credential is already selected and the reason is Azure Public. The scan is running. Let's wait for it to complete it. As the scan is completed, let's go to the recent run and open our discovery run. From discovery summary page, we can see more discovered data compared to our previous scan. For example, we have now six VMs compared to two VMs that we were getting in earlier scan. Also, four load balancers, one software instance, and six storage volumes are getting discovered. So it looks like this time Discovery initiated the scan for other subscriptions as well and able to get discovered data from all subscriptions. To confirm this, click on Pre Successful Discovery Access. So from the Discovery Access list, we can see that all three subscriptions are getting discovered now.
In this demo, we have seen how to discover the multiple subscription in discovery. Also, we have seen in discovery summary page, the resources such as VMs, load balancers, services are getting discovered. For cloud scanning, discovery also create nodes and relationship within the discovery. To see this, let's go to the explore and click on data. Scroll down and click on cloud provider. Here we can see the cloud provider Microsoft Azure is getting created. As discussed by Ansar in cloud discovery overview slide, we have top node which is cloud provider. Within this, we have cloud regions are getting discovered by BMC discovery. Here we have cloud management groups which listing our discovered subscriptions and tenant under which all the above subscriptions are present. Below we can see the consolidated view of all discovered cloud CI. Example, all VMs, all software instance and all load balances are present. All those CIs has been consolidated based on all subscriptions we discovered. Now let's visualize this cloud provider to see how nodes are getting linked together. To visualize, let's click on visualize. From this visualization page, we can see four regions. One is STUS and other three are Central India. Also, we can see the respective subscription name which are using this region to create their resources. Now, let's go to one of the region like Central India and click on plus icon. Here, we can see all the services created in this region. Example, virtual machine service. And if I click on plus icon, I can see all the virtual machines deployed on this region for this subscription. Further, if I click on this plus icon for this virtual machine, we can see a link with one load balancer pool, which shows that this VM is the member of load balancer pool test pool. Again, if I click on plus icon of this load balancer pool, I can see a link between this load balancer pool to the load balancer where this pool is created. And that load balancer is managed by the service networking in the same reason. So with the help of this visualization, we can see how all cloud CI are connected to each other once it's got discovered. Now we will see how to discover VM host running in Azure cloud. As we know in AWS, Discovery uses SSM to discover the VMs as host by AWS Cloud Scan. Unfortunately, there is no similar approach supported in Discovery for Azure VM and we have to scan Azure VM using traditional method which include creation of separate host credential in Discovery, find out the IP addresses of all Azure VM and create separate Discovery run for all the Azure VMs. To begin with, let's go to the Discovery UI. From our previous Cloud Discovery Summary page, we can confirm that six virtual machines are deployed in our Azure Cloud. Now the first step would be creating credential in Discovery. Here you can see I have created one credential which is valid for all the six VMs. Now we will try to find out the IP addresses for all the VMs and for this go to the home page, open the available dashboards, click on cloud overview. Now scroll down and click on unscanned cloud hosts. Here we can see the list of all six VMs. Now select all VMs and export as CSV. Here we can see the exported CSV file for all the VM. Now we will note down the IP address of each VM to scan in discovery. Depending on for which IP address you have access from your appliance, you can take the IP address and add in the discovery run. For this demo, I have access to these VM via public IP addresses. So I'm going to copy all this IP address and will use in the discovery to scan this virtual machine. Now in discovery, go to the manage and click on discovery. Add new run. Give name of this scan. Since we are going to scan this virtual machine through this IP address, I will keep this targeting as IP address 
and here I will provide all the IP address. Note that for public IP address of VM, the ping by default is disabled. So we will select do not ping before the scanning. Click on OK. Now the scan is running. We will wait for it to complete. Now the scan is completed. Now go to the recent run and open our run. In discovery summary page, we can see all the six VMs are getting discovered successfully. Also, if we go to cloud provider visualization from explore and data and expand up to any virtual machine, we can see the link between virtual machine and Azure host got discovered. So this concludes the demo on scanning Azure host. Now we will talk about Microsoft Azure Tax Discovery. A tag is a level that you assign to a cloud resource. Each tag consists of tag name and an optional tag value, both of which you can define. Tags are useful in case when you have same type of resources in cloud. Discovery supports the scanning of tags Microsoft Azure Cloud, Amazon Web Services Cloud, Google Cloud Provider, and Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Now let's take a demo on how Microsoft Azure tags are discovered. First, let's create a tag on resources present in Azure portal. So go to the Azure portal UI, click on virtual machine, open any of the virtual machine from this list and click on tags to create a tag and value for this particular virtual machine. For this demo, I'm going to give a tag name as environment and value is test. Click on apply. Now here we can see that the tag has been created for this particular VM. Now we will go to the discovery and scan this cloud. So go to the discovery UI, click on manage and discovery. As we have already scanned the cloud previously, so we will re-scan the same discovery run. Now scan is running. As the scan is completed, now go to the recent runs and open the open our discovery run. As we have created the tags for one of the VMs, so we will go to that VM. We have created the tags for demo VM1. Let's open that VM. Scroll down. And now here you can see the created tags has been discovered with name environment and the value is test. This way we can discover the tags in discovery. Now let's talk about troubleshooting of some of the common issues. The first issue, when testing Azure credential in discovery and we see error like fail to get dynamic parameter subscription ID, no values. This could happen if no role is assigned to application for any subscription available in Azure. So please make sure you have assigned the reader role to the application from subscriptions access control. The second issue when running credential test, you might see an error like fail authentication failure provided client secret keys are expired. This could be because of keys encryption bug. Please check if the keys contain slash and plus characters. To fix this issue, you can also generate a new key with alphanumeric characters. Here are the references to the topic that we discussed today. The first link is for Azure Discovery Documentations where you can find all the details like how to set up account in Azure, how to create credential in Discovery and what all services are supported in Discovery. The second reference here is to troubleshooting cloud discovery failure. Now let's summarize the topics we discussed today. We started with overview of cloud discovery. We then showed how to configure prerequisites for scanning cloud resources. After that, we discussed how to discover multiple subscription Azure VMs and Azure tags in discovery. We then discussed how to troubleshoot some of the common issues. With this, I'm going to conclude this webinar. Thank you all for attending.